Hello, I'm Dan Alexander. Thanks for joining me again. I appreciate it. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and hit the subscribe button. I'd like to talk to you about recording a Leslie speaker. Now, many of you are familiar with a Leslie speaker. They often come with Hammond organs or other kinds of organs. George Harrison, of course, is uh, well known for getting his sound with the uh, Leslie speakers. And uh, Jeff Emmerich was the first one to put a vocal through a Leslie uh, uh, with a John Lennon song on Revolver, uh, Tomorrow Never Knows. So here's a picture, hopefully, somewhere. There it is. Now, you can see that on the side, which is facing us, there's some slats at the top and the bottom. And on the back, you can see down at the bottom of the back, there's an opening. And so inside a Leslie speaker, you, you have a rotating uh, uh, baffle that um, uh, throws the, the sound around. And uh, each one of the sides, uh, each one of the sides has, <laughs> yeah, has those slats, has those slats on it. The back does not, but the back has that opening at the bottom. There's any number of ways that one could mic uh, a Leslie. I mean, you could just stick a microphone out in the room. Um, uh, you could also use any kind of stereo setup, you know, that you might uh, fancy. Uh, one classic uh, way of recording the Leslie is um, to put a pair. Come in, testing, testing. Okay is to put a pair of cardioid microphones in the corner here, like an XY pair facing the each the side and the back of, of the Leslie, and then placing a, a, a microphone, testing, testing, oh, down here at the bottom, with this facing this opening what happens is, is that the low frequency response of the unit basically comes out of that big hole on the back uh and the up at the top with these slats when you when you uh, uh spread those uh two microphones out you pan them out you get this big swirling this lovely sound and of course there's fast and slow speeds and um, switching between them and so on and so forth that produce sort of different effects. But that uh, way of uh, 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 miking the Leslie, I can't quite recall, but I think it was Tom Fly who told me about it. And I believe I was told that this is how Booker T mics uh, Hammond. Um, and, um, I mean, a, a, a Leslie. So, uh, that's it. I mean, Leslie sound fantastic. There's no question about it. You can put anything through it and it's just a lovely, lovely effect. Um, and, uh, having done it numerous times, uh, this way, I can say that it's very effective. You, you spread the two top microphones out left and right and you bring the back microphone up you might have to futz with the phase you bring the back microphone up until the low frequency is balanced with the highs and it, it just sounds great it's giant and and beautiful so that's it that's all i have to say about that go out and uh, get yourself a leslie it's a fantastic device so yeah have a great day, a great evening. Stay safe. Don't listen to the anti-science morons. All right.
Be well.